Hey everybody, Joy here. It is December 20, 2020. And so, I think I have 20,000 on December 20, 2020, but I haven't looked yet this morning. Now I know some of you said in your comments, you have them, you have them, you have them. And I thought, well, yeah, but it's probably saying that and I still need three more people. <laughs> so I'm gonna look right now. <laughs> Because I think it would be so cool to be able to say I got 20,000 on 2020. <laughs> so let's look, okay? Alrighty, let me see. How do you find out? You come over here and you push the analytical button. And let's see what it says. Ah! Oh my gosh! I was three people short yesterday. As of right now, watch it be 1020. I should wait. It's 11.15. I should wait till 11.20 on 12.20 on 2020. <laughs> I know I'm a complete nut. I'm so excited. All right. This is real-time live update. I have 20,043 subscribers. So, I don't know. Where on earth my new 43 people came from, but welcome, welcome, welcome. I hung the quilt up here. It's a quilt hanging on a quilt. I hope the whole thing doesn't come crashing down. Let me scooch out of the way. Maybe you can see it better. Can you see it better? This is the quilt I'm going to give away, one of them. This is the Christmas quilt. It's really pretty. Why don't you want to keep it? Because I don't have any place to hang it. And... I'd rather somebody was enjoying it. Now, this is not one that you would cover up with, you know, and snuggy with. This is more that you would hang on the wall at Christmas time. And then, of course, the other quilt that I'm going to give away is this one. And people tell me what this is, and as fast as you tell me what it's called, I forget it. I always want to say it's called Herman. That's not what it's called. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. So this one you actually can cover up with. This is a cover up quilt, okay? It's just a fun one. Throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer, and do whatever you want to with it. Or you can hang it on the wall. Up to you. Whoever wins it. I read my comments yesterday, and one of you said, well, if you're only gonna do it for one hour, we're gonna be asleep, and we won't have a chance to enter. Oh my gosh, well, I'm trying to think, how could I do it and everybody be awake? What time of the day here in Central Time? It is 11.15 right now, like I told you. Um, so, whatever time it is where you live right now, <laughs> 11.15 in the morning here, you're probably sound, sound asleep in the half of the world. But, tell me how I can include everybody in a one hour time span. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make it for a 12 hour time span hopefully not a 24 hour time span because the longer the time span the more people I would like to have about I don't know a hundred people the first hundred people maybe I'll do that I'll just say okay the first hundred people <laughs> but I don't know how to do that because the comment chooser chooses all of the comments so I don't know I'm a little confused there maybe my friend Becky will call and tell me how to do it so um Thank you, whoever you told and whoever you called or whoever you shared me with. Oh my gosh, I went from minus three to plus, what was it, 43? So that's super exciting, super exciting. And I'll always, you know, I can't remember anything these days, but I will always remember that I got 20,000 on December 20, 2020. I will never forget that because it's 2020, 2020. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Ah, okay, we watched church this morning. It was so good. Of course, it was about Jesus being born in Bethlehem and him being the most wonderful, awesome, perfect, amazing gift ever given. So, that was really good. And then I turned on the Gaither music, the Gaither Christmas music, and so we were listening to the Christmas music, and oh, it's just been a lovely morning. The sun is shining. It's a pretty day outside. Oh my gosh, I might ask Jerry to drive us to Sherman to go out to lunch today because you won't be able to go out at Christmas time. I imagine everything will be closed, uh, probably Christmas Eve too. 
And I know there will be crowds, but I actually like crowds. Um, as long as I can find a place to park. Oh my gosh, I've been having these dreams. I have dreams every night. And they're always awful dreams. And I'm so glad when I wake up. I dreamt last night that Jerry and I went to a church. I don't know which church it was, but a church. And for some reason, he drove his truck and I drove my 2008 Honda that we sold recently. And so I parked out in the parking lot somewhere and we went in and we went to church and then everybody left and he left in his truck and I went out to the parking lot. I could not find my car. And I searched and I searched and I looked in the front parking lot and I looked in the back parking lot and I looked in the side parking lot and all the people were coming and getting in their cars and leaving and I got my cell phone out and I thought, oh, call Jerry, call Jerry and he'll come back and help you find it. My phone would not work. Something was wrong with my phone and it would not work. And so then I thought, everybody has a phone. I'll ask somebody else if I can use their phone. And so then I kept stopping people and asking them for their cell phone. I'd say, please can I use your cell phone? And they'd give me their cell phone and I'd dial a number and it would have a broken number. The three wouldn't work or the four wouldn't work or the two wouldn't work or whatever. And so I borrowed like two or three cell phones and nobody's cell phone would work right. So I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do? So someplace, the church was closed, everybody left. And so like across the street or somewhere, there was this gas station. And I thought, oh, the gas station, maybe they'll have one of those old kind of phones, you know, where you pick it up and it's on the desk and you pick it up and you like turn the rotary deal or you push the buttons. And I thought, I'll go over there and maybe they'll have one of those kind of phones. So I went over to the gas station and I said, oh my gosh, I can't find my car. Somebody stop, can I please use your phone? So they said, yes, so I picked up their old fashioned phone. And I pushed all the numbers, but the number nine wouldn't work. <laughs> I should have written down these numbers. It's probably some kind of clue from God. <laughs> but anyway, the nine wouldn't work. And so I was so totally stressed. It was getting dark and it was cold. <laughs> and there was still a bunch of cars, but I couldn't find mine anywhere. And I was just totally, totally stressed. So then I woke up. Thank God I have to get up and go to the bathroom about three times a night. So I woke up and I'm like, Oh, yay, I'm in my house. I don't have to look for my car anymore. Then the night before, I remember part of my dream from the night before, and it almost always has something to do with what we watch on TV. And the night before, Jerry likes to watch these, um, these shows on how things are made. And so one of them, and we go through YouTube looking at all the different things, and... Um, we saw this one on, on how wood, how they, what they do with wood, how they cut it down and what they do with it and everything. So, part of what they were showing was how they hold humongous buildings up on wood. And um, they had some place, I think it was in New Orleans, where everything was always muddy. It was always wet and always muddy. I mean, just everywhere, all around. And so if they wanted to build this building there, they had to build it on these giant trees. And so they went and they got this certain kind of tree and they got all the bark off of it and all the branches off of it. And it's the whole entire tree. It's not cut up at all. It's the whole entire tree. Then they have this gigantic, gigantic crane. It's way up in the sky and it holds the tree up. And so then they start this hole in the mud, this little, it's not a very deep hole, just a hole to line this thing up. And so the crane picks it way, way up in the air, and the men on the ground, they like aim it to where the hole is, just because that's where it has to go. It's not that the thing needs the hole, it's just they need to know where this thing needs to go. Then this gigantic machine pushes it down, and then this machine has this hammer in it with like a zillion tons of pressure or whatever, and it's this giant, giant, looks like a great big giant hunk of cement, and it's wrapped around the top of the log or it's on top of the log and it just goes bang, 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 bang. And that entire tree goes down the ground. So, okay, that's what we were watching. So I went to bed, went to sleep night before last. And I dreamt. I was driving in Oklahoma City. I was driving down I-40, a road I've driven down a thousand, million, zillion times. And I needed to exit Meridian or Portland. I needed to exit Portland. Well, Portland 
was all shut off for construction. So I thought, well, I'll just go one more mile and I'll exit on Meridian and then I'll go up here and back over here and get back on Portland, right? So I drive on another mile, I exit on Meridian and it's road like, it was a road, it was an exit, it was paved and then all of a sudden it wasn't. And it was just total, total mud and water. And my car slid off the road into the mud. And my car started sinking, 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 sinking. I was terrified, terrified. I got out of the car somehow. But once I got out of it, I couldn't go anywhere because I just sunk in the mud. So thank God I had to go to the bathroom. And I woke up from that nightmare. It's no wonder I'm such a basket case. Every morning I wake up and I'll tell Jerry some dream and he'll say, Joy, you should write these down. There must be some kind of a message you're supposed to get from them. I said, other than I'm just completely nuts, maybe so. So, anyway. Now that I have 20,000 subscribers, maybe I'll go to bed tonight and think about that. Uh, let's hope so. Okay, my dear friends, I will do the giveaway. I definitely will. But I think I'm going to wait and do it for Christmas. I'll either do it on Christmas Eve, which is Thursday, or I'll do it um, maybe the last day of December. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll tell you all about it, okay? But um, I'm not sure how to do it now so you can have the most chance of winning. So I'll keep you posted on that. But between now and then, enjoy this pretty day, and I'll be back soon.